Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the Federalist Papers, written by Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and James Madison. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this, this work, the Federalist Papers, well, first of all, there's there are 85, 85 essays that that really address, well, the New York, New York voters. Um, because pretty much what was happening in the country at the time, the 13 colonies uh, or the 13 states of the United States, for a time being, they existed before uh, we, we had the Constitution, the American Constitution as we have now. Um, the 13 states... Uh, they existed, or their, their framework of government was something called the Articles of Confederation. Um, they existed underneath that. That The Articles of Confederation uh, pretty much was the government at the time um, that the 13 colonies were operating underneath. Um, what Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and James Madison sought out to do with the Federalist Papers was pretty much to convince New Yorkers to ratify the U.S. Constitution, and they make a very compelling argument, uh, a very uh, compelling argument indeed, uh, to really bring in the New Yorkers um, into the idea of why they need to ratify the U.S. Constitution. Um, and, and there's a lot of thought that goes into the Federalist Papers. Um, th these three men, they really discuss how um, the Articles of Confederation does not um, have the power or the strength to represent America, to represent the 13 states uh, on the global stage. I mean, at this point, you had other countries that had governments, that had systems, institutions, um, ways in which to process um, legal matters, which in, um, um, ways in which to operate in, a, in an economic format that would be beneficial to their countries. Um, and so America, or the 13 states at this time, the Articles of Confederation were just not um, you know, proper enough, strong enough to support these 13 colonies um, in, in these 13 states and becoming um, a strong country. And these three men, you know, Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and James Madison here, um, they really give gives um, gave an outline um, to you know why the New York voters why New York needed to ratify the U.S. Constitution. Um, they first of all they they talked about the separation of power between the federal government and the state government. They talked about um, how the Articles of Confederation, and first of all, they, they, they point to the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation, everything that it's lacking. They talk about how it's unable um, to stop things like Shay's Rebellion, um, and Shay's Rebellion was, was very um, you know, detrimental, um, and it showed how the, the government or the Articles of Confederation could not you know, stand up or keep its own words um, with the examples of Shaver's Rebellion. Um, and, and this continues. They, they talk about how um, you need a stronger form of government um, to regulate um, people, businesses, to make sure that um, people are, are not being taken advantage of, um, to, to establish a type of government that can not only represent the 13 colonies, not only be a benefit domestically, but internationally, because you need a type of government that represents and protect your interests, that protect your assets. If you're going to build assets in a land, in this new country that you're building, you need to have some type of government to, to govern it, to protect it. If you don't have a king, if you don't have a ruling body, you need to have a type of government to establish order, um, to establish order. I mean, it, it, that's pretty much to the point. Um, so the Federalist Papers talk about, um, talk about the, the weakness of the Articles of Confederation. It talks about the things that America needs, that the 13 states need. Um, it talks about the relationship of how slaves are supposed to be measured and counted. Um, it talks about um, how the, the states, the state governments, are supposed to 
um, conduct business or to coexist with the federal government. Um, and, 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 and fundamentally, it, it does um, show how some powers are reserved specifically for the states and how some powers are specifically reserved for the federal government. So the Federalist Papers really outlines the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation, the reason as to why New York needs to vote in favor and ratify the Constitution that was presented to them, even though they even admit, yes, the, the, the current U.S. Constitution or the framework that they had created wasn't perfect, but they say that it's better. Um, these these three, you know, men, uh, uh, you know, they, they say that it's better than the Articles of Confederation. Um, and they outline everything from politics to economics, um, to, to legal matters, to how it's going to represent, how the new constitution will represent us on a global scale, how um, it will help us um, conduct a business, um, and how it will help us protect ourselves. It talks about taxation um, and how that would take place. Because you have to understand that the Articles of Confederation did not allow um, certain securities and certain, um, you know, powers. It didn't give the, the government a certain powers um, to govern these 13 colonies. It, ultimately, underneath the Articles of, Articles of Confederation, the 13 states had an agreement to coexist, but they, they, they mostly kind of existed in a way where they were their own independent sovereignties. What basically happens with the, with the Federalist Papers is that Yes, the 13, the 13 states and states today in the United States, they have their own individual powers and, and sovereignties and, and, and rulership over certain areas of the law and, and jurisdictions. But when it comes to international matters, when it comes to federal matters, the federal government is the leader and the state governments are subordinate to the federal government. And that's something that is outlined within the Federalist Papers. Um, so these are all these are all and some of the arguments that the Federalist Papers present to the New Yorkers to get them to ratify uh, the U.S. Constitution. And it kind of ends with this idea that, well, we don't really have anything better than the, the current framework of the U.S. Constitution. So even though it's not perfect, um, it's what we got. And it's, it's the thing that's going to get us to the next level of being successful, of, of thriving as a country. And as we know, the U.S. Constitution was ratified, and that's what America in 2023, um, and hopefully in the future, exists on. Um, in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis here, you know, the Federalist Papers give us a really good insight into the making of America. America didn't just pop out um, from nowhere. I mean, the Federalist Papers, I mean, it's 85 comprehensive, meticulous, thorough essays that really take apart the Articles of Confederation. And again, these men think like lawyers. They think like men um, who, who know how to um, dissect and take something apart. If you want to, you know, um, you know, change a current system, first of all, um, okay, the Articles of Confederation was the, the framework of government that these 13 states were existing underneath. Um, for people to, to vote against it, for people to replace it, you have to give them reasonable and logical um, um, reasons to change it. You can't just, just tell them, well, you know, we don't think this is good enough anymore. We don't think the Articles of Confederation confederation are good anymore let's just replace it no you need to come up with logical reasonable um explanations and the federalist papers they they did that they gave reasonable arguments um as to why the articles needed to be um removed or abolished um and so that happens with the federalist papers um, you know, it outlines all of that. And all, it, it really brings us into this idea that America wasn't just built in a day. When it comes to the, the, the U.S. Constitution, the Federalist Papers, you had the top guns. You had the, the top um, um, thinkers, philosophers, lawyers that, that, that came together um, and, and really argued and debated for months on end um, about how America was supposed to govern itself, how it was supposed to be moved into the future. Um, you know, every single piece of that 
uh, was very important. And, and that's why we have the America that we have today. The Federalist Papers, again, they were written to convince New Yorkers, New York voters to ratify the U.S. Constitution. Um, and that's all I had to say about it. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.